this one is the complete reaction of Kinder modification. Let's I'm going to tell you. Okay, let's. Step one. This one is aromatic alkene. Means AR stands for benzene ring. Means aromatic ring is attached over here, and here is the ketonic group, and here there will be R group or methyl ethyl. If we will attach methyl group, then it will become uh, aromatic methyl ketone. If we will attach, and, and then this one aromatic methyl ketone is also known as acetophenone. This one will be also known as acetophenone. So once this aromatic ketone reacts with NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide, NH4. This one is hydrogen. A single atom is shown over here. And this OTS means uh, the nitrogenous groups are attached. That means NH3 is over this side and one hydrogen is over this side. So uh, this one is the open form of NH4. We can say NH3 on one side and hydrogen on other sides. So let's, once this aromatic alkene reacts with NH4 stepwise, then there will be shifting of charge. Okay. And this uh, oxygen as uh, their oxygen uh, this oxygen will attract a positive hydrogen molecule oxygen is negatively charged and this one hydrogen is positively charged and this hydrogen will be attracted by oxygen and it will react with oxygen to form OH let's see over in this step and the charge is shifted because oxygen was an electronegative element when it attracted hydrogen then charge is shifted and it become little bit positive at this carbon position okay and once charge was shifted and then another nitrogen molecule present in NH3 I have discussed over here here NH3 molecule this nitrogen shifted at opposite position opposite position to carbon atom and opposite position of oxygen atom because charge was shifted upon this carbon atom and so here nitrogen came and binded with this carbon atom and here NH got a position perfect and in the next step what happened this one aromatic alkene containing hydroxyl group cool this one aromatic alkene containing oxygen was attracted by hydroxyl group over here aromatic alkene containing hydroxyl group this one structure as a whole here aromatic contain, uh, uh, alkene containing hydroxyl group and here the R group was attached by nitrogen yes, nitrogen containing benzene ring because we also added cyanide over here as well and cyanide is formula is N5 H5 5 and C, sorry C5 H5 and and C5 H5 and I will write here I will try to write let me open it into okay 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 C five H five. Okay, this one is also H five. C five H five and 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 this one is cyanide formula. So cyanide simultaneously reacted with this one positive functional group okay over here i also described over here it means charge was shifted over here and this carbon atom become little bit more uh, electrophilic and here r group r group was whole 
R group was replaced with with C five H five N and you know benzene contains six carbon and here we have five carbon and other carbon which was electro positively was shifted from here and the carbon become six C five already and one carbon over here and then C six and the whole benzene ring was completed or whole benzene ring was produced perfect during this reaction and same one hydrogen and other hydrogen on the same sides of the benzene ring okay so here from where O came oxygen in how oxygen was to be here as we described during this NH4OH that go back means NH3 was over here and one hydrogen was here and still OH was remaining so oxygen from that area came into benzene ring at carbon position number one and then hydrogen OH means OH group was extra group with NH means ammonium uh, if you will be going to study ammonium hydroxide NH4OH so here H came over here from OH group and oxygen here and nitrogen here and the benzene ring was completed by additional uh, uh, number of carbons from cyanide cool and now this structure was produced and other extra structure we can see and further modification next and in this step same like this aromatic alkene containing cyanide this one aromatic this one is aromatic alkene containing hydroxyl group like this and then additional cyanide as in the form of benzene ring was attached and further rearrangements of hydrogen atoms means there was OH here and and here another hydrogen which was also present in um, uh, ammonium hydroxide reacted and one more hydrogen was added with the position of H group OH means this was still uh, we can say little bit electronegative and it attracted another hydrogen atom from ammonium hydroxide and that's why it become OH2 cool uh, this structure means this one is the benzene ring produced by the interaction of cyanide with aromatic alkene cool aromatic alkene was converted little bit modified because hydroxyl group attracted another two hydrogen atom means oxygen attracted two hydrogen atom and then in the this one reaction can process in backward and forward reaction means rearrangement reaction uh, and further modification and addition of water and addition of water finally uh, there was production of cyanide containing ring aromatic alkene and this one functional group again again addition of water means hydrolyzation results in breakdown of this one structure this one structure was broken down by the water molecule and then there was generation of aromatic alkene nitrogen and same it means benzene ring produced by cyanide addition and aromatic alkene same like this and the this double bond become free because hydrolysis was done so that's why now elemental sulfur elemental sulfur it was charged it act as a nucleophile in the form of re means it's sulfur reactive form was highly reactive and sulfur reacted finally with this position and uh, finally in further rearrangements happen and with low temperature rain sulfur binded successfully with okay yes so from here yeah yeah uh, yeah sulfur attached over here at the uh, with the double got at the position at the double bond side and now further rearrangements and we can say this one reaction can goes through the series of step in forward as well as backward direction and then there was finally we can say rearrangement within mm, the addition of different amount of water we are seeing here is the water molecule here is the water molecule here is the water molecule means adding different concentrations levels of water during the reaction 
changes its atom atomic positions of elements or uh, atomic positions during uh, around the structure and finally finally rearrangements happened and reaction was processed slowly it takes a long uh, at least four year to be completed and then same replacement of charges happened and then here come on this step cyanide containing ring uh, benzene ring produced by cyanide which was our reagent uh, or reactant used during the reaction and this one is aromatic alkene and this oxygen this one oxygen is again replaced uh, this one oxygen is against we can say this one oxygen was replaced by sulfur before and then by hydrolyzation and different step we can also overcome sulfur here sulfur was released and then means this one was a primary product i also discussed previously acetic acid thione means sulfur containing benzene ring or alkene means again this one was a primary product once we will add more water and we will hydrolyze again and again then we can say this one due to, due to enough amount of oxygen present within the water molecule the oxygen will replace sulfur here sulfur is replaced and then the final product will be amide as well okay here is the final product amide by kindler modification reaction to sum up the whole reaction here i will tell you here little bit summary this one was aromatic alkene which was reacted with ammonium hydroxide then with cyanide ammonium hydroxide and then there was production or we can say uh, addition of uh, hydrogen atoms with the functional group and there was plague breakage of double bond and then we added cyanide ammonium uh, nitrogen cyanide or we can say the cyanide c5h5n and cyanide added an additional benzene ring because it contains five carbon five hydrogen and nitrogen and addition of functional groups with the aromatic alkene further this reaction came into and once this reaction came into further step wise you can see there was addition of more attraction of more hydrogen atoms by the oxygen and then finally attraction of more hydrogen atoms uh, further Mm, uh, further there was OH2 okay and then addition of water molecules little bit concentration of water molecule control we can say control concentration of water molecules further there was breakage over here means the, the functional groups were break this one and the hydrogen there was become uh, we can say give breakage hydrolysis and then there was reactive sulfur molecule addition of some in this step in last step once there was generation of a charged molecule then in last steps sulfur elemental sulfur was added it was highly reactive and elemental sulfur got the position at the double bond and replaced oxygen oxygen was already replaced during the reaction you can see over here and then sulfur got this position and this one was the primary product and the replacement of OH2. OH2 was replaced further when water again was means hydrolyzation and dehydration. There are two two procedures involved. Then once again hydration took place, then we can say sulfur was removed. This one was primary product actually acetothione. Acetothionine or thionone was a primary product and again hydrolyzation or addition of water molecules removed sulfur and then finally there was production of amide in further steps okay okay i'm going here sorry sorry yeah these steps further hydrolyzation and dehydration simultaneously occurred and finally and finally primary products were further hydrolyzed to form the secondary product uh, sorry secondary product which is known as amide so final product was amide you can see once oh sorry yeah i'm showing you yeah 
this one this one is the fi final product means aromatic amide the production of amide so that that's why we can say kinder modification is a great kind of reaction for the production of amides thanks a lot for watching for more videos you can text me or you can write me an email n a w -E n b u k h a r i 20 at rate gmail.com and i can tell you in depth and i can answer your questions you're welcome thanks a lot